So Lubuntu 14.04, it's the LXDE variant of the Ubuntu 14.04 trusty tar family. And uh, it's got to be the lightest weight out of all of the Ubuntu family. And it is a long-term support release, but it's only three years as opposed to the five years for, uh, for Ubuntu itself. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, Lubuntu is based on the LXDE desktop environment. It's essentially a very, very lightweight Windows environment, so it doesn't have many effects or many fancy things going for it. However, it is pretty simplistic, pretty minimalistic, and in that sense, it keeps out of your way and it functions pretty predictably. If you've used a computer at any time in the last 10 or 20 years, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Simple menu driven interface and some pretty helpful explanations as to what each of these apps do, all wrapped in a package that could potentially run on a computer that's just as old. So what are some new things that we've seen with this release of Lubuntu 14.04? Well, most of the changes have come around either the look and feel of the distribution, like the theming and the icons of the distro, and also with the file manager, PCMANFM, which is the file manager for this particular uh, desktop environment, as uh, it's got quite a few new features in it, such as dual pane mode, so you can navigate between two folders right next to each other. It also has tabbed viewing, folder settings, and menu editing as well. So it's just starting to flesh out a little bit more with features. So it's good to see that we've got some new features in here and that we're getting a bit more functionality out of a lightweight file manager. Apart from that, there really isn't a whole lot here different from previous releases of Lubuntu. And I guess if you're a distribution that prides itself on making a lightweight distro, then that's really all you need. Lubuntu has now been an official remix of Ubuntu for a couple of years now. So you can still customize the distribution as far as the icons, the widgets, the window borders, etc. But I think the default look and feel is pretty nice. When it comes to actual resources, you can see here I'm using 200 meg and I've opened and shut a few apps as well. So you're probably going to get a little less RAM usage than that off a cold boot. But running along the toolbar at the bottom, you can see we've got very similar functionality to what we've seen on other desktop environments, such as a volume control, keyboard switcher, battery, power indicator, clock, and then obviously your login logout options. Now being a bit more of a keyboard interface type person, I would like to see a bit of a keyboard launcher or something built into LXDE because most desktop, most other desktop environments have one by now. But again, that is really nitpicking. For a lightweight distribution that has apps pre-installed ready to go, at least as much as a bare bones install would warrant, Lubuntu is about as good as it gets. It's very simple, it's very user friendly, and I definitely pitch it to anybody who's looking to switch from Windows XP, as the interface is almost the same, but you'll definitely notice new life breathed into your computer. Well, coming up in the very next episode, I'm going to be taking a look at something that is the complete opposite of lightweight, and that would be the Pingai OS release that we have seen dropped recently. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you want to connect with me, then you can hit up Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, and I hang out on all three of those platforms. And you can ask me questions, leave me comments, etc. Thanks for watching the video. Like it if it helped you out, and subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. My name is IG, and I will catch you next time.